Hi everyone, my name is Will and I am the Director for Ardwolf Security. In this video I wanted to showcase a super simple file upload vulnerability which ironically has recently bagged a bug bounty researcher $5,000. Now you might be wondering which platform this is, um, you know, is it something that we haven't really heard of? Well actually it was for Netflix, so it just goes to show that even the top websites are still vulnerable to some really basic exploits. So without further ado, let's dive in. So I just wanted to start off by showing you how this would be approached from a pen tester's perspective. So the first thing I would do instead of trying to just get stuck in and hack it, you want to figure out how the flow of the uh, application works, so the end-to-end -end journey. So this is quite an easy one because it's just a file upload, but we'll test the full end-to-end -end journey first just to see how the application works um, and we can then identify any kind of unique behaviors for us to look into later. So it's asking for an email here, so let's just do test at test.com and then we can upload our, uh, uh, let's say, a PNG, create our badge, and we get an invalid file type. So it's telling us that only GIF images are allowed. So, okay, that's fine, let's try that. Try with a GIF this time. Create our wanted badge. And then you can see that it has actually uploaded it and it's told us where to upload it as well. So if we just right click that and go open a new tab, we can there see that that is our GIF that we just uploaded. And there's a couple of things to note here as a pen tester. Uh, first of all, we can see that the file upload structure allows us to browse directly to it and we can see um, the directory structure of it. So it's like forward slash API temp and then the name of the file. There's a few issues here. First of all, um, we might as a pen tester look for other people's files that we can browse through directory, di sorry, directly and then um, we could also guess the name of those so the name isn't randomized but in this instance we want to focus mostly on uh, uploading something other than a GIF. So next we just want to go to our burp suite and turn the proxy on. Let's go back to our Chromium and let's just do the same things we did previously. Upload our GIF. And then this time, I just want to make sure it's proxied. So here yeah, we've got our intercept on. And then let's just click Create Badge. You can see that Burp has intercepted the post request here. And if we just have a look at that, we can see this is our GIF file here, so it's test.gif and the content type is image forward slash GIF and then all of this here is the, uh, the, the GIF file itself. So let's, up, let's uh, forward this to repeater. That way what we can do is just manipulate this single request and and then call it over and over again with minor changes each time and you don't have to go and run and capture that same request again and again this just makes it a lot more simple okay so we can try and first of all focus on different areas so what we'd normally target is the file name can we change that to something else can we change the content type and then you've got what looks like a magic byte here as well. So GIF 89A, I think. I think that's the the uh, signature. I'll have to double check that. But let's start by just changing that to say like an executable, so dot exe. See what that comes back with. And sometimes it's easy just to render the page to see what the uh, the output come was in this instance it, it actually did accept that so we could try again with like a PHP and let's 
go and download us a PHP shell. So I'm just going to go to Google. Reject all cookies. And then just type in a simple PHP shell. And the first one here, we've got an easy, simple PHP shell. And what it's given us is the, the basic sort of PHP shell here, um, but it's got a bit of a wrapper um, with HTML, so it just makes it look a bit tidier. Okay, so let's go back to Burp Suite, and then you can see this is our request here. And we can try just removing all of this and replacing it with our shell code. There's quite a lot of it, as you can see. Okay, so let's go remove all of that. and then paste our shell code in there. Okay, so if we click send and then go render that request, you can see that we get an invalid file format, so only GIF files are allowed. So the previous request did work when we changed um, the file name to uh, a PHP extension. However, I think due to this magic byte, the um, upload was rejected in this instance. So if we go and search for the GIF magic byte and see if we can add that in. We got a list of, sig of file signatures from Wikipedia here. So let's just um, search for a GIF here. So you can see we've got GIF 87A and GIF 89A. And this was GIF 89A, if I remember rightly. So let's just try that. We'll copy GIF 89A. And let's go back to our burp suite and then just add that magic byte in there. Now when we render it, it says our badge is actually ready. So that would suggest that it's worked. So let's go to the, um, the pretty version of the response here and we can see where the badge was uploaded. It should just be the test dot gif upload. So if I just type in here test, there you go. It shows us it's in API temp test dot php. So let's turn our intercept off for now. Go back into here and what was it again? Let's just highlight it. So it's browse directly to it with forward slash temp, sorry, forward slash API, forward slash temp, forward slash test.php. And you can see that it did actually work. Our web shell has been uploaded. So we can just test that quickly by doing a who am I? And you can see that the response was www.data, which means that we do have command execution on the server. So we can just prove that by um, getting the flag. So in the room description, it mentions that it was in the root directory. So if we just do uh, cat forward slash to get to the roots and then just do flag.txt, I think. There you go, it will 
give us our flag. So that's it. That it was as simple as that. A very basic PHP file upload that was found on Netflix. Let us know your thoughts in the comments.